In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very, very simple blogging application in Vue.js. So if I click on the first post here, it takes me to this article's individual page and you can see the URL changes accordingly. Next you can see that we have two pages here, uh, a home page which simply lists the articles and then we have a contact page which has just a title and some gibberish now admittedly this is a very very simple application you you can make these kinds of applications without using Vue.js but uh, the purpose of this video is going to be to show you to walk you through the process of how these kinds of applications can be built using uh, this particular framework now if anyone is interested in the code you can uh, visit this github repository and it has all the code that you're going to need uh, and you can easily download this repository and do whatever you want with it the link is going to be in the description box below both of this repository and this demo I have a folder named blog app here and inside this folder there are two other folders CSS and JavaScript. In the CSS folder I have a vendor folder and in it there is a bootstrap.min.css file. It is a themed bootstrap file and nothing nothing dramatic. In the JavaScript folder I have this vendor folder and inside it there is view router and Vue.js. Next, I have app.js file which is empty. In index.html file, I'll, I'm linking this bootstrap.min.css file and these view files, this view router and the view file, and I am linking the app.js file. Next, I have a div here with a class of container and an ID of app I have this style tag here which is just setting the padding top of the body so I'm gonna start writing this application in the app.js file the first thing that we're gonna do is create some routes so I'm gonna create a new variable called routes and I'm gonna set it equal to an array and this array is going to contain various objects each object will contain a path for a property and a component property this path property is going to require you to enter a path in this component property you're going to write what component is linked to, to that particular route to that particular path so in this case I'm gonna call it home and above here I'm gonna create a home object and this will contain a template property and this is basically a string but I'm going to use this the, the new syntax the template strings we're gonna start with a div and then I'm gonna create an h1 dot page header home let's create another one contact and the component is going to be called contact So now that's done, uh, we need to create a view router.
this router is going to accept the routes in order to function we can do this or we can use the new syntax next we are going to create an application and this application is going to require a router it's not going to require a router but since we have created it we're going to provide it here and next I'm going to mount it on this app diff this one right here inside this app diff I'm going to need a router view component if you open up this file here we can see that everything is working if I go to the home page it, it shows this template and if I go to the contact page it shows this template now I would like to have a navigation bar at the top now, I'm not gonna need this navbar brand and I need I do need a class here of navbar basic These are the links here. Save this. I'm going to remove this active class here. We don't need it right now. And oh, nav bar default. There we go. So we have a home page and a contact page right next instead of using the anchor tags I'm going to use a special component that view provides which is the router link component and that has a two attribute As you can expect it is still working except that it isn't why oh yes so it shouldn't take take to the it shouldn't take you to the home it should instead take you to slash all right so I'm gonna need to refresh the page so there you go everything is working as expected now let's say that I have a an articles array so we have an ID title slug excerpt content now I'm going to duplicate it and I'm just going to change everything to second and I'm going to change the content a little bit Let's say that I want to loop through these articles in my home page. How can I do that? First, I'm going to create a data method. And in it, I'm going to return an object. And this object will have posts. And and when the component is mounted onto the page I am going to set this post equal to these posts or I can say 
instead. Articles. And in the page, in the page template, I will create a div. Inside this div, I'm gonna have an h1 or h2. Let's do H3 instead. And this will contain article. I'm gonna do a V4 here. Article and articles. H3. Excerpt. And now, if I refresh the page, you can see everything is working as, as expected. But now, I'm gonna do a another thing. I'm going to link these to slash articles slash the whatever the slug is. Slug. Well, this is not gonna work. Well, first I need to do this. We are going to need to do this. So now it will take you to the articles that first post, but of course we don't have that route. Let's create this. I'm gonna have the H2 with the post title, articles title, and in the paragraph, I'm gonna need the whatever the content of the article is. Now I'm going to create a data property inside of here I'm going to have a article I'm going to set it equal to an empty object then I'm going to have a mounted method and first I'm gonna console dot log the this dot dollar route if you refresh the page you can see that we have a params object and in it I have slug I can say this dot dollar route dot params dot slug and this will give me the particular slug that I'm using in the URL next all I need to do is set this dot article equals this dot find by slug this is a custom method I'm going to create and I'm gonna pass in this slug now I'm gonna create a methods object and inside this methods object I'm gonna have 
this particular object that I this particular method that I referenced here. I'm gonna have a for loop here. I'm gonna loop through this articles array articles dot length and uh, I am going to simply check if oh, I'm gonna accept this slug here if slug is equals to articles particular article in the loop and it's slug so if it is equals to that we're simply going to return the articles that particular article if we do not find any of the slug if we do not find the slug in any of the article then we can return null and this should probably work but we're not doing anything in the template I'm gonna create a, I'm gonna say article.title inside this paragraph going to have article dot content if I go to any particular post I can see its content there we go what else we don't have anything in the contact page so inside this contact page you can add whatever you like you can add a form and you can add f different kinds of functionality inside of this inside of that form and you can check for events make it as complicated as you like but we're not gonna do we don't have any time for that I'm just gonna paste in some gibberish text just so that it doesn't look that empty so we have a home page here that has various posts and you can see the individual posts and you have a contact page and you can create as many pages as you like 